You might have noticed that robot vacuums have gotten really expensive lately, but today we're going to talk about a robot that has good suction, anti-tangle technology, and obstacle avoidance for a third or even a quarter of the price of the flagship robots. The Eureka E20 Plus promises all those things, and even a little bit more, for a price just under $500. Eureka is the sponsor of today's video, so that means we're going to test the features and performance and show you how it works so you got enough information to make your own buying decision. The Eureka E20 Plus is an upgrade to the Eureka E10S. It has 8,000 pascals of suction versus 4,000, so that means it's got twice the suction power. It's also got an anti-tangle brush roll, which we're going to test in a minute. And it comes with this very unique base station with this clear dust canister, and that is actually designed to save you money. And it has better obstacle avoidance technology with dual lasers, so it can actually work in dark places, like under your bed. The space station is actually quite unique. You can see that the dust canister is clear, it's transparent, so you can see exactly how much fluffy cat hair you've got in here and other kinds of dust, so that makes it really convenient. Second, there's no bag. This is a completely bagless system. If you look at the bag cost for other robots, you're gonna spend maybe 20 to $25, maybe three times a year, so you might be hitting about $70 a year. This does not have any bag costs. And this holds about two liters, so this should be good for about six weeks of cleaning. You don't even need to empty this out very often. When the robot returns to the dock from a cleaning run, the onboard canister on the robot is gonna get emptied out into this canister on the base station and it has a lot of power. It actually has multiple cyclones to suck the dirt out of the robot. You don't need to really do anything other than add some water to the robot to make sure that you're getting good mopping performance. You've got two filters in here. You've got this foam filter, and then you've got the cyclone filter. When the canister is full and you need to empty it, just unlock it with the switch and pull up the handle. You can also use this handle to move the base station around your house really easily. It's not very heavy. Just make sure it's in the locked position, pick it up, and you can move the whole base station. It's pretty easy to empty the dust bin. You just press this button, everything drops out. Let's look at the underside of the Eureka. First off, we've got two side brushes. That's typically a feature you see in a little bit more expensive robots. The center brush roll pops out like this, and it's made of a silicone style material. So instead of having bristles, this shouldn't get cat hair, dog hair, all kind of tangled up in it. I find these styles of brush rolls are actually pretty good at anti-tangle, but we're gonna test that. You also get this brush so you can clean it off. And if you do get tangles, this side has a little tiny blade to get the hair off. Then down here, you have the mopping pad. It comes out like this, so when you need to wash it, it's pretty easy to get out. And they actually give you another one too, so you can flip back and forth between them. On the top, you've got the obstacle detection system in here with two lasers. You've got an on-off button, you've got a home button, and a button that you can tell the robot to go mop a specific area. Here you've got a container, which has a water tank. So you pop this open to add water right in here. And this is auto-emptying. This is gonna auto-empty at the dock, but if you do need to get in here, this just pops out like this. You can see there's a little bit of water in here, but it's actually not mixing in with the dirt. This is the separate piece. And you got a couple filters in here. So you got this filter here, which you should clean every 30 days or so. And then you've got a mesh filter. Now let's test the pickup performance. Some of the more affordable robots don't have that much suction, but the E20 has 8,000 pascals. Some of the flagship robot vacuums from just last year had the same amount of suction, and that means it's almost twice as high as the Eureka E10S. So if you value suction power, the E20 is the better choice. Now the E20 is a mopping robot, so let's add some water and let's do some vacuuming and mopping at the same time, which is something that it can do. And let's test it out on hardwood. So I've dumped some cat litter. So I like the crystal style, which actually is a little bit heavier than the sand style. Some cereal, some sprinkles, some popcorn, kind of heavier stuff. And with the 8,000 pascals of suction, it's doing a pretty solid job. And there it is in the waste container. At this price point, it's kind of nice to get a robot that not only vacuums, but also mops your floors. But there's another feature that's kind of nice too. When you're mopping, the E20 detects the carpet automatically, and then it can lift the mop pad 10 millimeters, which is about a third of an inch, and that helps keep the carpet dry. Next, we want to test the anti-tangle capabilities. So what I've done is I've laid out some six inch red sort of rave hair and a bunch of dog hair, and there's a little bit of cat hair mixed in too. So let's see how it did. So that looks pretty good. Let's take a look inside. 
I don't see any hair on here at all. That looks pretty anti-tangle to me. You can see it just picked up all that hair. The E20 uses a two laser obstacle avoidance system called Duo Detect AI. Now you typically find this type of system in more expensive robots. So let's put it up against our obstacle course. I've set it to mopping and vacuuming at the same time. You can see it does a pretty good job avoiding the pink cat toy. Now it sees the track pants. It's getting up close to the track pants, trying to do a good job sort of getting right up next to it. And it does. And it's coming around for the track pants again. It sees the shoe, gets right up against the shoe. No harm, no foul. And it sees the sock as well. Now it doesn't have cameras on board, which means that your privacy is gonna be more protected, potentially, than a robot that does. And if you have stairs, it has cliff detection sensors, so it's gonna avoid falling down the stairs. And even though my cat is attacking it, you can see it's doing a good job of avoiding my cat. And frankly, my cat doesn't care. He likes robots. And because of this Duo Detect AI system, it actually works in fairly dark areas like underneath your bed. Now let's look at the app. When the robot is out on a cleaning mission, you can look in the app and see exactly where it's going and where it's been and what it's up to. You can set up multiple different robots on the Eureka app. We're gonna use the E20 Plus, and I can see exactly what room the robot is in right now, and I can see it is sleeping because it is charging. So you can see it's pinch and zoom. Now it's pretty easy to customize your cleaning. You hit this preferences button, and you can choose the different suction powers all the way from low to high. You can choose how much water level you're gonna use from dry all the way to a lot of water. And you can also choose your mop mode. Right now I've got it set to mop down, which is gonna mop while vacuuming. Or you can have the mop up, which is basically going to only vacuum. And then you can automatically set it to detect when there's carpet and adjust the suction power. You can set up custom cleaning zones. So if we wanna clean a specific area, just hit that button and I can clean just this area here and you can tell it how many times you want it to clean that area, all the way up to three. If you've got multiple floors like I do in my house, you just hit the map edit button, and you can see the two different floors that I've got set up, and it's pretty easy to edit either of them. So I can set up a no-go zone. I can set it up right here. The robot will stay away from that area. I can set up a no-mop zone, and I can set up a virtual wall so it's not going to go past this wall. You can schedule your cleaning. For you to schedule, you can set a start time, let's say 11 a.m. Do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you can give it a cleaning preference. And it's also gonna tell you the remaining lifetime of your accessories, so your HEPA filter, your side brush, your main brush, and your cleaning sensor. It's gonna tell you if you need to clean that. And it's also gonna tell you if the robot is low on water. And if you wanna have it suck the dust out of the vacuum, you just hit the dust collection button. If you're looking for an affordable robot that is as easy as ever and stronger than ever, the E20 Plus is a solid choice. The suction is really good. It's actually as strong as some of the flagship robots and there's no bags to replace, so that's definitely gonna save you some money year over year. It's got pretty solid obstacle avoidance and a very good anti-tangle brush roll. If you've got a family, you got pets, dogs, cats like I do, suction is gonna be a priority for someone like me and so I like the fact that it has double the suction power of the Eureka E10S. For a limited time during the launch, you'll be able to get the E20 for $449.99. 